You may wind up pushing this person away. We have I love you, angry, betrayal, and reconciliation. Yeah, see, I feel like some of you are going to walk away from this person because you just feel like you can't trust them. No matter what they say, no matter what they do, it's like they do one thing and then have you believing that there's a possibility that you guys can work through this and then the next minute, they're gone. Welcome back to my channel. So let's jump into your messages and see what you can expect from January the 17th through January the 21st. Let's see what the universe wants you to know. All right, so we have reveal. Let's get three more. I'll get, all right, I'll get four. If I need to pull more, I will for this bonus reading. So let's see what the universe wants you to know. I pulled four for everyone else, but for you, Gemini, I don't know. I was feeling the energy or the universe was telling me to pull an extra one. We have unsatisfied. I wasn't happy the way things were going. I let my pride get in the way of our connection. So someone may be sitting in their ego. I was also hearing in your pre-shuffle, Gemini, like, what are, what are you? Somebody wants to know what you're up to. What is causing you to switch up on them? We have habits. I don't know if we will ever change responsibilities. I have to take care of my financial and emotional needs and reveal. I want to tell you the truth. Somebody may want to tell you what is going on, what the reason is for them pulling away or ending a situation. So I feel like you may be finding something out um, either from this person or just putting two and two together. All right. So let's see. Um, I feel like someone someone who's been sitting in their pride and ego is ready to come out of it. They're ready to stop being stubborn because they feel like it's not helping. I don't know if this is you, Gemini, or your person. So take it how it resonates. But they feel like they need to speak up. They need to let you know what's going on. Or you feel like you need to let someone know what's going on. Maybe it's something that you need to get off your chest. You feel like instead of holding back, I'm just going to tell this person exactly how I feel. I feel like some of you are holding back on how you truly feel deep down inside about a situation. You may be feeling like, you know what? I'm tired of talking. That's all I do. You know, I tell this person time and time again how I feel, but they still don't change anything. And look, when I said still don't change anything, look what came out, the will of fortune. So there's definitely some change coming in. You know, the, when the will of fortune comes out, it's an opportunity to accept the flow of events. The universe is saying you don't have to change anything. Whatever has happened or is happening at the current time is meant to happen to bring in the changes that you seek. You have a new opportunity, a lucky beginning, um, a better situation here, whether it's in love or just life in general. I feel like some of you are starting to see things differently. You're starting to think differently. And this person is going to have to catch up because, yeah, some of you were hurt. And because of this hurt, you're just going in a different direction. And if you're, you're like, if they don't understand it, then, oh, well, you're doing what's, what's good for you. This could be with the King of Pentacles here, a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn. You've had a wake-up call. Either this is you with a wake-up call or it's your person. Because some of you are ending something. You know, when the world card comes into a reading, it's um, ending. It's, just, it's like endings uh, bring new beginnings. So even though something is ending, there's a new beginning that's coming out of this or a lesson. Something that's going to help you out in the end. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries. A Scorpio. Um, yeah, we have Scorpio energy here twice. You've had a wake-up call. And I feel like this tower 
it's sort of giving you like a little push or a nudge to go in a different direction on how you're going to handle something and i feel like this king of pentacles they don't get it you know they're still coming in reversed so they're still coming in negative thinking that you're still on whatever you were on before and you're like nah i'm not like i don't even care anymore you're like it is what it is i'm going to do what's best for me and you could do whatever you want to do <laughs> that's what i'm hearing some of y'all tell this person and if you're not telling them this, this is what you're feeling and thinking, Gemini. Yeah, with the Four of Cups reversed, you're not satisfied with, with the situation. You may feel like someone is leaving you out in the cold. You're, you're just sick of it. Some of you, this looks like a, um, I'm just giving everything to the universe and and how it turns out it turns out and i'm just gonna go with it and that's fine because this is what the universe wants you to do i feel like it's part of the tower energy here look at that eight of cups some of y'all walking away from somebody it could be a pisces or a taurus spirit what messages do you have for gemini's for this bonus reading what can they expect from january the 17th to january the 21st oh ace of pentacles some of you got some money coming in your money is about to grow you know the ace of pentacles is about a opportunity that's being handed to you but it's not being handed to you you know just on a whim you've earned it you've worked really hard for something your future is bright here with something that you're doing maybe you have a business you know or you're going for a new job or you're just going in a different direction in life and whatever it is, is going to pan out for you. All right, definitely something with money here for um, for some of you Gemini with this Ace of Pentacles. You have the Page of Cups and you have the Four of Swords. Either someone's been doing a lot of thinking about you or you've been doing a lot of thinking about this person um, because there's healing energy here with this Four of Swords, but also with the Page of Cups, there's an expression of love that's about to come in. So this may be someone who reaches out to you to tell you, okay, listen, I don't want to fight anymore. You know, I've, I've thought about the situation. Let's just talk. Or even if they don't say it in that way, they're ready to um, come out of this tower energy that you guys are in. This might not even be a breakup for everyone. It just could be you're not getting along with your person. And maybe you can't put your finger on it. And you're like, I don't know what it is, but it's something. And something is bothering you in, inside. And you've been holding it in for a long time, whatever it is. Like, I can tell by the world, the judgment, and the tower. It's sort of like the universe stepping in saying, okay, well you decided not to handle this or you know move on it gemini so we're going to jump in and help you out all right so we have the two swords here yeah some of you had a disagreement with your person and you don't know how to come out of it or you just like i'm so sick of trying to come out of it we keep going back in it like every time you turn around it's like a, a back and forth inconsistent thing Your person doesn't know how to take you. <laughs> Somebody you're dealing with don't know how to take you, but here's this uh, new beginning. So some of you are gonna have a new beginning with your person and you guys are gonna come back together and some of you want new love and it's coming in. So you have to decide what is it that you want, Gemini. Spare what messages do you have for Gemini's? What can they expect from January 17th through January 21st? coming out of some stuck energy coming out of delays working on something some of you are choosing to put a lot of work into what you're doing you're like okay um maybe you took a break you know over the holidays and now you're like okay it's time to get back into grind mode it's time to um to start working on whatever this is this could be a project this could be a business you're building maybe you want to do more overtime at work and it was offered to you and you turned it down because of the holidays and now you're like okay the holidays are over i can start doing more overtime i can start working more you know putting in more hours maybe you're saving for something 
Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini's? Yep. And here is the Ten of Pentacles. I said money is coming in. Security and stability. You've earned it. Whatever this is, you deserve it. Something that's going to bring wealth and happiness. We have the death card here. So there's a change. Change and transformation is always good. I said you know which direction you want to go in now. Scorpio energy again and Cancer. So some of you could be dealing with the Scorpio or Cancer. We also have the King of Wands coming up here that's very upset with you. They have something that they want to say. But you know what's funny? I feel like now, I'm hearing like now this person wants to speak up. Maybe they, ha they had you waiting around for them to communicate. And now they want to speak up. Now they have something to say. And I don't know if you want to hear it. But the next card we have is the Four of Pentacles. So is this someone who's deciding to hang on to you, Gemini? We're now you may be in the energy of I could care less. And they don't want you to be in that type of energy. The Knight of Swords here and the Nine of Swords. And the next card we have is the Eight of Wands and the Five of Cups. So I see messages coming in from someone or they came in already. And now you guys are just trying to decide what's going to happen. Because with this Five of Cups, someone feels like, okay, it may be a loss here. And I can't do anything about it. This may be a Leo. If you're dealing with a Leo. And you feel like, okay, um, I may just have to take this loss. But it is what it is. With the Five of Cups. There's a lot of sadness, disappointment. You want it to make something work. If this is not you feeling this Five of Cups, this regret. This could be your person. So take it how it resonates, Gemini. Alright, let's get one more. It's like you don't have the strength to deal with something anymore. You're like, I, I don't. But I feel like because you're acting this way, um, and it's not an act. You know, I don't feel like it's an act. I can tell the way the cards came out in the beginning. It's not. You're not being petty. You're not just being like, oh, I'm just going to do this for spite. You're like, this is how I feel. It, it's not my fault that I feel this way. It's because of how you treated me. So it's because of how someone's treated you that you're finally, you know, standing up. I'm hearing like standing up for yourself. Oh, I tried to toss this card out. So we have the Emperor reversed. Aries energy here. Someone who feels like they don't have control over you in the situation anymore. Someone who was overbearing, controlling, dominating, just wanted power. They're very arrogant, whoever this is. But something is switching up and they don't know why they don't know why you're deciding all of i'm hearing like all of a sudden gemini is acting different they feel like you're acting different but that's because you're tired of being stabbed in the back your energy is right here like i don't want to deal with it anymore i'm tired of being betrayed stabbed in the back like if you want me then you come fix this and you do whatever you need to do to make this work because i'm not putting any more work into this i have other things that i want to put work into basically so those were the messages that i have for your reading gemini thank you for watching my channel and i will see you guys in the next video bye